Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today is Friday, January 8th, 2016. I'm Amanda Heintzeman. And I'm Maggie Brand. Today is a blue day. Ski Club begins today, Friday, January 8th. We have approximately 120 students participating in this popular event. We'll be using email to communicate with families regarding updates and cancellations for the program. As a reminder, ski equipment can be dropped off in the dining hall in the mornings of Ski Club. Please label everything. A parent chaperone meeting will be held today at 1.20 p.m. in the dining hall prior to leaving for the mountain. The PTA Reflection Gallery night is this Monday, January 11th at 6.30 p.m. in the, in the Marston School Library. All, All are welcome, welcome to, to attend. attend. It is a great night to come out and see what awesome things our K through 8th graders have made. Spelling Bee finalists will proceed to the School B competition held in the library on Tuesday, January 12th at 2.45 in the library. The winner of the School Wide B will represent our school at the state competition in Concord, New Hampshire on February 27th. Sixth graders will be collecting recycling today. Please leave your bins in the hallway. Thank you. Yoga Club students will begin on Tuesday, January 19th. It will, be, it will we'll meet for the next four weeks, four weeks on Tuesdays. Please see Ms. Bowen for location and permission slips. Ms. Squay classes should report to the library today. We had a spirited and challenging Geography B and Geography, Geography B final. Dev Neaton won his second year in a row, defending his championship. Abby Cross came in second place. Kobe Patalis came in third place. People who have signed up for Chromebook Fixing Club should meet in the tech room after school on Monday. One day, Brooke and I were in STEM class and we finished our projects early, so we decided to test out the Makey Makey Kits, which is a kit that lets you make anything into a mouse pad or a um, keyboard. Miss Birch told us to share our invention. What we made was a sit and pause device that when you stand up and sit on a chair, a YouTube video plays. And when you stand up and sit again, the device, the YouTube video stops. Here are some pictures. Good morning, Hampton Academy. I'm here with seventh grade student, Leanne Stratz. Good morning, Leanne. Good morning, Aaron. So she's actually our student in the spotlight this week, and she's a really talented artist. Before we start our interview, we're gonna look at some of our drawings. Well, I've been drawing since I was very little because my mom is sort of the one who showed me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> She's a really good artist. Yes, you kind of inherited it. Yes, I have. And what inspired you? Like you said, your mom. Has been yes, my you? my mom has a really good artist in our room. We have this cube that has the Disney princess, a couple of Disney princesses on it, wow. and she did a really good job on it, and I really like it. And so, what are what are like most of your drawings? Um, some of them are characters I've created. Others are how like I see them in other character with other characters from different shows. And they're all mostly cats. <laughs> and I have like one rabbit <laughs> and a dragon. Nice. Well, thank you for being on Check News this week, Leanne. Thank you for having me. The PTA is sponsoring a new box top program this month at Hampton Academy. They will have a drawing for prizes each month. There will be three winners in each grade. All the students have to do is submit 10 box tops and a Ziploc bag labeled with their name and grade. 10 box tops equal one drawing entry. If they submit 20, they are entered twice, 3, 30 times, and so on and so on. The drawing will be held the last week of each month. The deadline for each month for box tops to be submitted is the 25th. 
prizes will include things like Wicked Sweet, Sugar Boutique, Last So Last, and Dunkin' Donuts gift cards, homework passes, and shark bites. Recently, Mrs. Nato's LA classes have used music to help them learn parts of speech. They have recorded verses about the different parts in front of a green screen and created music videos. No doubt these students will have no problem remembering the parts of speech. Enjoy watching the Yellow Classes rendition. So you want to know about nouns, you want to know about verbs, and you probably know that there are several other types of words. So if you yearn to learn a psych to teach, now listen up and let me tell you about the parts of speech. A noun is a person or a place or a thing Like you or your school or all your bling bling But the tricky kind of nouns are ideas and thoughts Like your strength or intelligence Man, there are lots of these nouns To list them all, that would be impressive But to describe them, all we need are adjectives Like hot, cool, false, true, spicy, or bland And now I think you understand So you wanna know about nouns, you wanna know about verbs And you probably know that there are several other types of words So if you yearn to learn a psych to teach Now listen up and let me tell you about the parts of speech the, the verbs that's what we call the action words anything you can do even if it's absurd whenever you eat drink move think go or stop even if you just are that's a verb that you got but mr jackson yeah. how do i describe these words use another part of speech we call adverbs like loudly proudly and well don't ask me why but most of them end in ly so you want to know about nouns you want to know about verbs and you probably know that there are several other types of words so if you yearn to learn a Listen up and let me tell you about the parts of speech. A preposition gives location, so you know whether an object is between, in, by, or below. But it can also talk about time. As a matter of fact, if something happens before this, or is gonna happen after that, they always got a prepositional phrase. It's a traditional way that every preposition operates. So just make sure that the object is there, or else you never know what goes where. So you wanna know about nouns, you wanna know about verbs, and you probably know that there are several other types of words. So if you yearn to learn. A psych to teach. Now listen up and let me tell you about the parts of speech. A conjunction joins phrases and words together like and, but, or, as, if, and whether. Some appear in pairs like neither or nor. You know, I'd love to list them all, but there are so many more. So let's go on to pronouns. They replace nouns. So you can say it instead of saying the same noun. Again, it can be just a breeze, you see, instead of name saying he or she. So you want to know about Hold up. Almost forgot about the next one. I'm speaking, of course, of the interjection. Like, oh, yo, yikes. Holy cow. you know the parts of speech? Well, I think and you now do you now. know about nouns, and you know about verbs, and you probably know that there are several other types of words. So if you yearn to learn a psych to teach, and now we got an understanding of the parts of speech. And now for the weather. Um, as you can tell, I have a sore throat. Sorry about that. Anyway. Uh, three weather photos this week, so I couldn't pick. So send them in, sharknewshamptonesky.com. We still love to see weather photos that you took over vacation, so go through your gallery, pick them out, and send them to us. Uh, we have the first snowflakes in York, Maine, from Riley DeMazas. Thank you, Riley, for sending that in. Clouds from Bella Russell. Thank you, Bella, for sending that in. And those days at the beach from Ethan Hardart. Thank you, Ethan, for sending that in. Such a poetic name. Uh, day planner, Friday, 8 a.m., 30 degrees. Clouds going to roll in today, and they're going to stay there. Uh, 36 degrees at uh, noon, still going to be cloudy, and the temperature's not going to drop by 4. Still 36 and cloudy. The clouds are going to remain here over the weekend. It's not looking like the best weather weekend. You might want to go out and enjoy the snow a little bit, but other than that, we're taking a look at your five-day forecast. 38 is the high today. Tomorrow, the high is uh, 41. Sunday, rain. If it was colder, we would have seen snow, and there's still the possibility for a little drizzle and mix if you're going a little inland. So that's your weather. I'm Tyler Hughes. All around the world International So 
Celebrating their birthdays today are Tiago and Tunes and Clarissa Mears. Celebrating on Saturday are Emily Adams and Shark News' very own Ruby Snell. And celebrating on Sunday, Cody Group. Have and to Tiago, Clarissa, Emily, Ruby, and Cody, have a happy birthday. And remember, before you speak, text or email, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary, and remember the Academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go, Go out there and make it a great day. day.